Hello there and welcome to Star Wars Lore. Today's video is on the three-eyed species known as the Gran. Now the Gran were a rather unusual species that were native to the planet Malastare, although according to legends they were actually native to a planet called Kinyan and Malastare was just a location of one of their largest off-world settlements. And they shared this planet with its other native sentient species, the Dugs. Now the Gran had several distinguishing features. Apart from their three eyes, they also had snouts kind of like a goat's with at least four little nubs on their heads that kind of look like antennae. Two were usually short and straight, whilst the other two were a bit longer and more curved. Their hands are also known for being quite noticeably thick and bulky. Unlike a lot of the other species though, Gran had two distinct body shapes, one being generally fat bottom, for lack of a better word, with their midsection being a bit more plump, and the other body shape was more skinny with proportions similar to the average human. The first type also tended to have six fingers, while the second type tended to have either small human-like hands or fatter hands with thick fingers that also had flat section cup-like things on the end of them. Having developed from herbivorous grazing animals, the Gran actually had two stomachs, and just like the Martians from Total Recall, their females also had three breasts. They were able to sense each other's emotions through a variety of subtle changes in both body heat and skin color, and because of their three eyes, they had really excellent vision being able to see more colours than most other species and, like the Rodians, were even able to see into the infrared. As a species, the Grand didn't really spread out and integrate with the rest of the galaxy until around 32 BBY. Their planet Malastare had a large natural reserve of fuel which was left in control of the Dugs, whilst the Grand represented their world on the Republic Senate. Ask Ak served as Malastare's senator both a little before the Clone Wars and during the Clone Wars. He's the one you see in here in the Chancellor's office in Attack of the Clones. But not all Grand fancied politics, so they went and found employment in various other jobs across the galaxy, including but not limited to bounty hunters, mechanics, and even professional pod racer pilots. In fact, there was one famous Grand who flew in the Bunta Eve classic pod race in The Phantom Menace, and his name was Morhonic. He raced a green pod racer, and his pit crew were also all Grand. The race didn't go too well for him though. He started off in a strong position, but he ended up crashing during the first lap due to the very aggressive and combative racing style of the Doug Sabulba. Now, the society of the Grand is relatively peaceful and amiable. Having a keen sense of their place in society, along with unselfish instincts, they put the greater good ahead of their individual wants. Their government consisted of a group of delegates from the major Grand families, who usually control the different aspects of Grand society. One of these delegates was selected at random once every three and a half years to serve as the leader of this group. And it was really only because of their very peaceful sensibilities that this system even worked at all. Now, when it comes to family, however, Gran are very protective and very devoted parents. Thanks in part to their very powerful and sensitive eyesight, which could sense the emotions of their mates and their children. They managed to keep balance by setting up rather strict career quotas, making sure young Gran were educated for a specific job that best served his or her talents. Gran also have a strong need for companionship. A Gran left alone for too long would go insane or just die of loneliness, but when a Gran actually did find a mate, it was for life. And in the process, they formed such strong bonds to each other that it was not uncommon for one of them to die within days of losing their mate in death. They also rarely left their home planet after taking a mate, meaning that most of the ones you encounter out in the galaxy in video games etc are actually single. Generally, when a Grand was seeking companionship, they preferred to look within their own species, but some were able to form sufficiently strong bonds with other races besides their own. And that, my friends, is the unusual looking and peaceful species known as the Grand. Now, I want to know what you think. Let me know what you think of the Grand as a species down below. Also, I want to give you a heads up that either next week or the week after, I will be implementing my um, channel name change from Tenopia to Star Wars Lore. I just want to give you a heads up before it goes live, and I will continue doing so until it does go live. So, until next time, take care, and may the Force be with you.